if you would like to know how to create a color tint shader with the ability to set a color for the shader and then use a tint factor to modify the strength of the color while still seeing the sprite in the background this tutorial will help you set up the shader and apply it to multiple sprites on each of the three sprites i have a different color and a different tint strength i can then further animate this using a script or an animation player if I need to. If you like what you see in this tutorial, please remember to hit like and subscribe. I will create the color tint shader and then apply it to these three sprites in this scene. So I'm gonna to go to new resource, I'll search for shader and then choose the shader and create that file. I'll call this color tint shader and I'll make sure that the mode is set to canvas item for 2D shaders. I'll just create that and then I will open the shader file. So the shader type is canvas item and I have two methods which are vertex and fragment. Now in the scene I will choose sprite. I'll choose this sprite here and in the material option I will assign the color tint shader. Now I'll start to add and export some parameters so that we can modify them on the shader. So the first parameter I need is a vector for color which I'll set to source color and a default value of white. And this will set the tint color for the shader. The second parameter I'll export is a uniform float. And this will be tint factor. There'll be a hint range of a minimum of zero, a maximum value of one. And this will be set to a default value of 0 0.5. And this will be the strength of the tint in the color. And for the third parameter, this will also be a uniform float and this will be a fade parameter with a hint range of a minimum value of zero and a maximum value of one and we'll just set that to the maximum value of one and this will affect the alpha channel which will allow the sprite to fade in and out if you wish to affect the transparency. Now in the fragment function for the first line of code we want to use a vector 4 and we'll call this main texture and then use a texture function and pass in the texture of the actual sprite. So this will be passed through using this. And then we want to then use the UV coordinates. Then we'll declare another vector for, I'll call this final output, and I'm just going to assign main texture to final output. I'll then create a float parameter and call this original modulation with a value of one minus the tint factor. Then I'll get the final output vector four dot RGB equals and use the mix function passing in the main textures RGB multiply that by the original modulation then for the second parameter of the mix function I'll use color dot RGB multiply by the tint factor and then for the final parameter of the function is the tint factor so using the mix function is a way to smoothly transition between the two values based on the actual factor. So these are the two values, which is the main texture's RGB, and then multiply that by that modulation and the color value and the tint factor. So those two values, the tint factor, will mix and use that factor to control that tinted color. Then finally, I'll use final output, and then on the alpha channel, I'll multiply the alpha channel by the fade. So that we can use transparency to fade the image in and out if you need to. If you don't want to use transparency and just use the tint strength, then just leave fade with a default value of one. And then the final line of code is to assign that final output to the color parameter of the shader. Okay, now that the shader is complete, let's view our sprite in the scene. And as we can see, we have a modified color in the actual sprite material. So let's go back down to our material here and let's modify the color. So I'm just gonna change it. I'll choose a blue color or a purple color. And then with the tint factor, I will then just move this down. And then if you increase the strength, you can see that's going to full strength, which covers all the pixels. I'm just gonna make it a little bit lower so that you can see the image coming through. Now with the fade parameter, that is just going to make the image actually transparent. So I'm just going to make that one. So let's do this for some of the other, right? So I'll do the bandit on here. 
I'm just going to go back to the material and then assign a different color and then modify the tint factor. And then on the final sprite, do this one more time. Just assign the shader again and then choose a different color. So I'll go for something in the gold range. And as you can see, you can potentially animate then the tint. So in an animation, you may have it do something like that and then you can tweak that. So that's your tint strength. Now that brings us to the end of this tutorial. If you like what you've seen, please remember to hit like or subscribe and receive updates of my other tutorials. Thank you for watching.